We're in the key of B flat. You've got to find a B. I'm going to put this other video up too. You found a B flat. You're like, okay, but it's, they say to play a B flat, what? Major, just a B flat. Now the problem is, this sounds like what? That sounds like B flat major. minor. Why? Why is that minor? Look at this. When I have my middle finger down like that, why? Because A minor, A major. If we, if we take our finger and put it right here, now make a major bar chord. How would you make a B flat major bar chord? And I'll, I'll give you a hint. It doesn't look like that. It's not with your fingertips. Yeah. Okay, why? Because that looks like an A major. Right? So play me a C major bar chord. So go up to C, there you go, find your root note. There you go, that's C. And then make it major. Now make it minor, give me a C minor bar chord. Okay, don't ever forget that, okay? Okay. Now, now if you go over to G, play me a G major bar chord. Good. No, on that string, it looks like this. That's major. How do you make it minor over here? Yeah. Okay, so don't forget. G major, G minor. Okay, all that stuff. Now, let's go back to our B flat. There's no way you're going to play a whole song with a chord like that. So what can you do? So you take the capo, you put it out on the first fret. So that takes the place of that finger. We don't have the capo anymore. So we're playing like an A chord now. Okay, now everything else is off. So what are the other chords in the song? E flat. Okay, okay let me show you this trick. Um, look at this. Don't take your capo off. What is this chord? Yeah, so what is this chord? D. So what is this when I move it up here? Um, when I move D up one half step, well, it still is D major. Sharp. Yeah, it's D sharp. Or it's also called, what else is it called? If you go from this direction, it's called D sharp. It's also called... E flat. Isn't that weird? Okay, so look. So look, if I put the capo on, I'm playing an A and an E flat. That's a D shape. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Okay. So what's the other what's the other B flat over D. Okay, just uh yeah, and you, and you know what that is? We gotta find a D note. Where's a D note on your guitar? It, when you're playing, like play that B flat, like the B flat, which looks like an A. Now where, how can you possibly touch a D note while you're playing that? Is there a place where you can touch a D note? Well, let's think about it. Think about it. This is hard, okay? A string. What note is this right here on the A string? Forget that there's a capo there. What is this note? C. Yeah. What's this note? C sharp. Yes, ma'am. And what's this note? Wait a minute. What comes after D? Yeah. So look at that. Look at that. So we play A with this little guy over it. Now don't don't bar it. It just jumps over it. Okay? Strum down from the A string only, not the E string. Okay? That's called an A over C sharp. You usually see it, you know? Um, they say play a G minor seven. We would play a G right here, but we have got the capo there. That sound like trash. So we need a G minor seven. Ah, oh, okay. 
How do we do that? Well, we could make a bar chord, G, right? Where's the G note on your guitar? Right there, so find your G note. Then give me a bar chord that makes it minor. Yeah, use your ear, there you go. Okay, now, here's another thing. So that that's it, G minor. So you can use that or guess what? Well, we've done this one before. It's a little trick. I like to use this open chord like that. It looks like that F sharp minor, but we moved it up a half step. That's a G minor seven. Yeah, for us, it's a G minor seven. Okay, and it works. Okay, see how you're starting to think. You just have to sit down and kind of do the math of like how it all fits. And I'll say this, and if all else fails, put the capo on your guitar, play that first chord, and then start playing other chords that you know, other shapes, and see if they fit with yeah. the song. <laughs> and they'll probably see, fit. 